So in this video, I am going to talk about what is ServiceNow and what is the roadmap to become a ServiceNow developer. Does a technology have an impact of a ServiceNow developer or not in the future? Okay, and what type of modules should I learn as a beginner or intermediate level or expert level? So we'll discuss all these concepts in our session. And what is the average salary for ServiceNow developer position? Now let's talk about what is ServiceNow. ServiceNow is a cloud-based platform that provides the IT service management and automate the business, common business process. I understand you are definitely not understand by this technical definition. Now let's break it down uh, definition and I will explain in the layman terminology with real-time example. Imagine your workspace is big and busy office and everyone constantly running around trying to fix problems, find information or, or get things done. Here fixing the problems means, let me take one example. Suppose your laptop is not working. Without service now, what will happen? And with service now, what type of benefit you will get? Now let's talk about without service now, how you can going to fix the laptop issue. First, you send email to the IT team about your laptop repair issue. So they may not see your mail because they receive a lot of mails. And IT team can miss your email as well. They didn't watch your mail. And you call to the IT team, but you don't know who are going to handle your issue. Then it takes too much time, long time to fix that problem. Then you will get definitely frustrated because without laptop, your work is going to pending day by day. With ServiceNow, how it will be? You open the ServiceNow portal and you can just fill a quick form like uh, my laptop is not turning on. And you have to add uh, laptop details like uh, model name and, uh, uh, and description about your issue. Then ServiceNow automatically creates the tickets and it assigned to the, the right IT technical candidates. And also you will get a regular updates from the IT team whether you are fixing or not, what type of issue is going on, you will receive automatically updates as well. IT team fix your laptop and close the ticket and will notify by saying, your, so your laptop has been ready. Let me know if you face any further issues. Hope you understand what type of key benefits are if you are using service now. So faster resolution, transparency and accountability, you will maintain all these things with service now. Now you may have doubt what is the exact career roadmap to become a service now developer so to become a service now developer first you have to learn the core uh, module that is nothing but ITSM information technology service management comfortable with ITSM modules and associated concepts so then I'll try to learn configuration management database CMDB and then learn some administration concepts as well like users policies permissions okay you have to focus on these areas okay like some administrator related concepts as well because nowadays most of the profiles are GD they are mentioning like admin skills as well as development skills so therefore some configuration management database skills and administration skills also important nowadays next you have to focus to learn scripting workflow custom application development so these are the some major skills for development purpose you have to focus on like uh, integration hub and some service portal and some advanced workflow progress as well so after learning all these things then try to learn one more module as well along with itsm so based on your interest you can choose another modules like uh, uh, itom operation management or, or hrst human resource service uh, delivery or you can learn CSM based on your interest you can choose so if you have above five years or six years or seven plus years of experience as a service node developer then try to learn advanced models like sec OPS ERC as you grow so absolutely there is no jobs for fresher job roles it's a very it's a really hard to find fresher job roles for service node developer especially minimum two to minimum you should have two years of experience the jobs openings will start from two years or three years onwards okay and also and in the current situation who have more than four plus or three plus years of experience can those candidates only receiving the calls moreover which profiles are maintaining at least more than one module those profiles only they are uh, shortlisting and their uh, companies also preferring to hire those candidates 
if we have only one module like ITSM core module and you don't have another module experience then they are simply rejecting those profiles. So try to learn one more model as well based on your interest. We will talk about, about packages or salaries. Suppose if you have 4 years or 5 years of experience, relevant experience or hands on experience on these technologies then uh, it is a good company and based on your entry performance and based on location. So they give average salary for 4 years or 5 years experience candidate around 14 lakhs to 18 or 20 lakhs as well. Anyone interested to learn this service now developer course, you can start to learn, don't hesitate. But uh, there is a huge competition also there in software industry because most of the, because many of the candidates are already trained and uh, searching for the jobs. So you must be uh, unique or you should have sound knowledge if you want to get a job in these days because competition is very tough these days. Okay. So that's all guys mind. If you feel this information helpful then like, subscribe and share to your social networking platform. So we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.